Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing wonderful today. Let me turn on this dining room light. Oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, I haven't vlogged in so long. Probably about two months now I haven't been vlogging. I actually just got this camera back out of my diaper bag because it's been in the bottom of my diaper bag for so long. And when I turned it on, the lens was so dirty I had to like take a little scrubber and clean the glass. Not a literal scrubber, but like a little towel and scrub it real quick. Um, so I am just making up some breakfast right now, watching a new YouTuber that I'm kind of obsessed with, honestly. Her name is Lauren Self. Um, right now I'm watching her mom shaming video. But, yeah. So I'm just watching that. I don't even remember how to vlog anymore. This is so weird. I feel very awkward. So if I fail miserably at this today, I am sorry. But yeah, I'm getting ready for breakfast now. And I just was going to show you guys... I'm not even prepared for this, but I was going to show you guys what we're going to do for the kids for breakfast. Chad's not home. He's been out of town this week, but it is Friday, so he comes home tonight or like first thing in the morning. He's pretty far away, so it might, he might not get here till in the morning, but that is okay. Oh, check out the new fridge. So, we updated all of our appliances, but the only one that's installed, well, we got our washer and dryer installed, but the only kitchen appliance that's installed is our new fridge, and I've already decked it out in all my pictures because... I'm one of those people that I'm just obsessed with fridge magnets and fridge pictures. Even though apparently this thing like, I don't even know how to work this thing yet. But apparently you can download some pictures and put them on here. I just haven't figured out, honestly, I, I can't figure out how to use it. I've been playing with it. I've probably spent probably an hour down here just trying to figure out how to do everything. And I can't get it. It's really annoying. And I don't know if it's just because of Samsung product. And I'm not a big Samsung samsung kind of person um or i'm just electronically challenged but yeah so that's our new fridge and we got a new stove microwave and dishwasher they're all sitting right here as you can see but we didn't feel like paying the extra 680 dollars for them to install it um so i just told them to drop it off and um, Chad would install when he got home, but I was able to do the fridge by myself Wasn't that difficult, but this morning I am trying to clean up my diet a lot So I'm making myself a smoothie I haven't blended it yet because the babies are not awake and I don't want to wake them, but it's almond milk water ice um, this baby spinach from Walmart my protein powder, which is back there and the flavor I am using today is I'm just trying to use this one up, but it's the I don't know I don't even know how to pronounce that. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a cold stone uh, um, protein powder. But And then a banana. And that's all that is in there. Today is Friday, so Aubrey has daycare at 9 to um, 12, which is every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. She goes from 9 to 12 now. I cut it down so that she can spend more time at home with me, and we can go to gymnastics and um, science center and stuff. So I am on a strict homeschooling schedule with her now. She, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, she does homeschooling um, after her nap, which is about three o'clock. And then uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we do homeschooling first thing in the morning or go on field trips. So it's been really awesome so far. I love spending this much time with her. I've missed her so much. If you don't know, I used to have Aubrey all the time in the past three months. Um, she's been going to preschool. And it was just kind of an experiment to see how she done, if she done any better. Um, try to give me time to catch up in life with Maverick and everything. And also it was really nice just having one-on-one -on -one time with Maverick because I never really got that. Because obviously Aubrey had been there all the time. <laughs> and she's an attention whore so she was constantly trying to um, get my attention. But it was really nice having all that time with Maverick. But I just missed my baby girl. I like having both my babies all the time but anyways i'm rambling like crazy i have been adult free for six days now no five days now so i am losing my mind like i have not had an inner adult adult interaction in so long it feels like but today we are going to hit the gym after dropping off aubrey at daycare and i'm going to take you guys with me um when the kids wake up i'll show you what all they're eating i just have everything about to make my coffee i got my water for this morning um and then their sippy cups and stuff sitting out and I'm working on their breakfast now so as soon as they wake up I will show you their breakfast and then we will get on with our day 
Oh, it is currently 7.04. The kids should be up in about an hour. So it is 8 o'clock now, and I just brought the babies down from upstairs and they got dressed and everything. So Maverick is looking handsome today. Just have to comb his hair and put some hair gel in it. So he is eating bacon, little slices of bacon, and eggs with spinach. Aubrey has preschool today, so she is just dressed in an easy um, dress because she is potty training and she has big girl panties on and I don't want her to have an accident. And it's just easier for her when she's wearing a dress, even though it is a little chilly outside. Can you say hey? She's ah. Hey, hey you, you got food in your mouth. She's watching Doc McStuffin right now, but she has the same thing right now, except for she has an apple juice that we got at Starbucks yesterday. Um, I just normally only let her have half of an orange juice. I mean, not orange juice, apple juice. So after they finish their breakfast, I will give them a few more options. I just give them about one or two things at a time, or they get very overwhelmed, and Maverick especially starts throwing things in the floor. So he is already almost done with his breakfast. So he is about to get a couple blueberries. <laughs> Um, and then they normally get a yogurt pouch afterwards, but these two, they opened last night with their dinner, um, or I opened for them, and they didn't finish them, so I'm going to give probably Maverick a yogurt pouch and Aubrey this little, I don't even know what this is, um, corn pudding <laughs> pouch. And then um, in the car, I'll let them munch on a, ooh, munch on a waffle. Aubrey loves blueberries. They're blueberries. You love blueberries. daycare. Let me see her back there. Aubrey, can you say hey? Uh, hey. She's playing on my phone because we were FaceTiming with, ooh, right, um, we were FaceTiming with Chad because he is out of town, so he FaceTimes like a hundred times a day. But I'm going to run her in here to daycare and then we're going to go to the gym. I already hear Maverick starting to get a little fussy. He hates when the car is sitting still. I don't know what it is, but he just hates it. So, we have a little surprise for Aubrey when she gets done with school. I'm going to install her new car seat, which is pink. Um, she's got a new booster seat, so I'm going to install that uh, right after I get done dropping her off. And then Maverick's going to get her old one. And then we also have a third one that I'm going to install into the third row, and that's for when we take trips with our friends. Like, she has a three- and four-year-old friend. Um, so, when we go on trips to the zoo and stuff and they go with us, it's easy. So transferring car seats all the time. But, so I'm just going to ignore the Maverick crime for just a few minutes. Um, but when we left the house, it started snowing. So now it is snowing pretty hard. Um, probably won't be able to tell on camera, but yeah, you can't tell. Oh, you can sit here in the windshield a little bit. But it is snowing. But it's 40 degrees, so it probably won't stick. Um, but it's pretty cool. I love the snow. my cup of coffee number two for the day because I am like just slacking today I don't even know how to explain it. I just have no energy whatsoever honestly I feel like going in there and laying down but it's 11:30 now and I need to go sorry I'm trying to find good lighting so if I'm making you dizzy I'm sorry but I have to go get Aubrey we need to leave like pretty much right now but I just got everything out for lunch that way when we get home it's just heating it up and we're ready to go 
But I have to go get Aubrey. But I was going to show you really quick. I'm going to have a salad. So I just cut up some lettuce. Uh, it's an iceberg lettuce. This is leftover chicken from last night. It was taco chicken. So it has taco seasoning, pico de gallo, and uh, mozzarella cheese on it. Baked in the oven. So I'll be putting that on my salad. And then made some deviled eggs. And I already peeled them. So I'll just cut them up and put them in a container. And use them throughout the week. You know how I told you guys it started snowing when I dropped Aubrey off at school? It stopped while I was at the gym. And now, I don't know if you can see, it's snowing. Really, really heavy. But it's still too warm outside to stick, I think. I think it's like 40 degrees. Or that's what it was this morning. Um, so I don't think it'll stick. But it is really pretty. So that's exciting. I'll check this out. I have the fridge just sitting in here in the living room. All this is Goodwill stuff that I just need to find time to take to Goodwill. Um, that's the box of birthday party supplies that we used for the kid's birthday. Um, and I'm giving it to a friend. Ah! I love all this snow. I don't know if you can see. It's falling so hard. Nothing is sticking though, unfortunately. <laughs> But it is, it's pretty crazy. Let's see here. I can, if y'all can see. Ooh, it's so pretty. <laughs> um, I really wanted to run to Goodwill and find some new books for the kids homeschooling stuff. But I just don't think, I just don't think I want to be out in this too much longer. I'll probably just go get Aubrey and come straight home. How do you like the new pink car seat? Or, um, yeah, car seat. That's Aubrey's new little ride i think she's gonna absolutely love it she's probably gonna freak i'm so excited but like i said i was planning on going to goodwill but we might just skip that for another day i'm not in dire need of books it's just something i'm wanting it's some new themed books for aubrey's curriculum um if you all don't know i do homeschool aubrey she's i mean she's two so it's not really like homeschooling it's not strict or anything but we do do activities crafts and read um every single day of the week well monday through friday but yeah sorry about that i thought it was hot for some reason no problem Anything. Um, no, I don't. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Oh my gosh, I just waited like eight minutes for an iced coffee. Oh, and hash browns. But still. Dunkin' Donuts always disappoints me in some way. Like, sometimes our coffee is amazing, and then other days our coffee sucks really bad. And then. I don't know just people are rude like this lady Starbucks I've only had a rude person like one time and I was out of state I think that was in um, when we went to Green Bay so we were in Wisconsin but here like I mean normally Starbucks is really nice but at Dunkin Donuts it's opposite like I've never had a nice person at Dunkin Donuts it's pretty bad but it's the closest one to my house so I deal so this is the current situation in our kitchen because all the appliances are being installed. Um, it's a disaster and that's the fridge that is playing music by the way, which is pretty awesome. Um, so now I'm going to move the Google Home upstairs to the playroom. But as you can see, I was not planning on anybody coming and installing this stuff today. So I had loaded the dishwasher full of stuff, which is now in the sink. Um, I had my lunch sitting out because as soon as I get home from picking Aubrey up, we make and eat lunch and then they go down for a nap. So I had that all, all that sitting out. So the cabinets are a mess. Um, there was a whole bunch of toys and stuff underneath the stove. So obviously I had to clean that out. And they pulled out everything underneath the sink because of the dishwasher. So it is a disaster in here. Plus to find out. You know how I told you that I installed the fridge? Um, we knew before with our old fridge it was leaking. Uh, the, there was a leak in it. Chad had fixed it multiple times or tried to fix it. Apparently it's not to do, it's not, the leak's not coming from where we thought it was. Um, and when we went downstairs we realized it's leaking really bad now. Probably from where I was messing with the pop to top and the um, cords. Here, let me turn this around. But where I was, tightening the water um, 
thing it probably messed with the tube even more I'm sorry I don't know all the technical terms for all this stuff but uh, I basically by installing the new fridge messed up the pipes even more and they leaked really really bad like when I say really bad like you can't tell from up here but when we came downstairs for them to do flip the breakers and stuff um, it's it's so bad so right above here is the fridge and it is dripping and the whole floor is soaking wet so this is the second flood we've had down here in the past two months because our hot water heater went out and flooded all of this like you can still see the line so our hot water is right behind this wall and it flooded all of this all around up to the steps that's why the um, carpet cleaners in here but now all oh, this is flooded this is the second time this spot has flooded and Chad has changed out all of this stuff so now he's gonna have to do it again because you know we are going to be trying to sell our house in a couple years um, and I'm not sure how bad it is so hopefully the guys can help me with that and try to figure out what exactly is going on I know at one point we had a leak right here it's just whoever installed the water or like all the pipes before we moved in and whoever lived here before like just did a really crappy job so we've had so much water issues it's crazy and I know that's really bad for a house and I know that's it's just not good for us trying to sell the house um, but we're just trying to get everything fixed and fixed correctly so that it doesn't happen anymore hopefully but yeah so I'm gonna come down here and work on drying up some of the carpet um, I might get the ladder out and push up these these little tiles on the roof and try to see how bad Ooh, I don't know why so I'm gonna try to um, pull up some of the tiles and see how bad the damage is um, this just sucks being a homeowner sucks sometimes <laughs> so now I'm gonna go through and actually clean the kitchen because they had everything out of the cabinets um, it was just a huge mess in here so there's stuff all over the floor the cabinets are just a mess now I don't know what Aubrey's doing but so I gotta go through and clean all this before I go to bed tonight unfortunately and sweep the floor because all the boxes they had to open and the kids that's an egg that Aubrey was eating <laughs> so we have a lot of cleaning to do after the kids go to bed they were here for four and a half hours so I was not able to get any of my cleaning or household chores done because I was dealing with that water leak um, dealing with the after the kids woke up from their nap I was dealing with them you know trying to keep them out of everybody's way but still trying to keep an eye on the people who are here obviously so it was just a whole mess I'm glad they're gone honestly it was, it was just a whole mess I'm glad our stuff is installed now um, but the kids are eating pizza now and then we're gonna go upstairs do baths and stuff it's only 4 30 so they don't go to bed for another hour and a half they go to bed at six so but I'm exhausted not really sure what else we're going to get into. Still have a few homeschooling things that Aubrey needs to catch up on. So, because we had to be down here away from her school stuff. So, we have a lot of homeschooling stuff to catch up on. But, yeah. I feel like I've rambled this whole video. It's all I've done is ramble. Bye bye. Bye bye, honey. Tell daddy you love him. Say I. I can't see her. Cause you know. Say I love you. Yeah. Kids are now in bed. It is about 6:30. If you don't know, if you haven't watched any of my past videos, the kids go to bed about 6 o'clock, which is really amazing, especially on days like today where. It's just been 
extremely stressful, extremely long. It's It's been a hard day. Definitely not because of the kids, but just because of house stuff. And with Chad being out of town, it's Friday, so it's been five days with just me and the kids, and um, I'm ready for him to come home. Definitely ready for him to be back. So he should be back uh, tomorrow morning sometime, hopefully. Yeah, but anyways, I am rambling now. It's been a really long, hard day. Extremely exhausted, so I am going to take myself a bath, which is, you probably hear the water in the background. I'm going to take myself a bath, relax for the rest of the evening, read a good book, which, by the way, I'll show you what book I'm on now. So these are a few of my books, the ones that I need to read, and then all the books I finish reading, I take upstairs. But currently, I am reading Girl, Wash Your Face, and I'm reading A Couple's Devotion for the third time. So... Um, yeah, but this is a good one that I'm just now starting to read, and I really like it, so, yep. But these are the books that I'll be getting to here soon. I think they look really, really good. Um, really good reviews on Amazon, you know, I love to read. I personally just really love to read books and enjoy a good book every once in a while, so if you have any good recommendations for a really great book, leave them in the comments down below so I can read it, so I can buy it and read it. I love it. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It helps my channel out so much. I am a new new YouTuber, um, but I am trying to grow my channel. I think I've said that in the past, but I do. I would like to grow my family here. So if you'd be interested, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you can be notified when we upload a new video. The next video that will be uploaded is going to be a grocery haul for our family trying to get healthy and just you know get back on track basically and then we will have a lot of like little fun videos coming up so make sure you hit that bell notification and i'll see you next video bye